Hello, today we're here from Fernie Secondary School, class of grade eights and nines, addressing our concerns about recycling of cigarettes in Fernie and ways we think you could help. Because almost nobody recycles or throws out their cigarette butts, they add to a lot of soil and land pollution. One of the key ingredients of cigarettes is tobacco, and most of it is planted in rainforest areas. And in result of that, it has contributed to major deforestation in the areas planted. Many of the ingredients in cigarettes are toxic and can severely harm the human body. Some of these ingredients are toluene, carbon monoxide, tar, hydrogen cyanide, and so many more. Also, an average cigarette has in between 8 and 24 milligrams of nicotine in them. About 17,000 people worldwide die each year because of forest fires started by cigarette lighters or discarded burning cigarettes. Cigarettes affect your health in so many ways. You can get cancer, autoimmune disorder, type 2 diabetes, premature death, lung disease, heart attack and stroke, complications for pregnant women, and health dangers for secondhand smoke. The toxins in cigarettes are very harmful to wildlife and animals in the river like fish, ducks, microorganisms, frogs, plants, and more. Water pollution is caused by humans who contaminate bodies of water with plastics and garbage like cigarettes. When the garbage goes in rivers, it can kill animals and end up in the ocean and kill other animals. Some toxins in cigarettes include cadmium, iron, arsenic, nicotine, formaldehyde, and acetone that are found in nail polish remover. Toluene can also be found in cigarettes. This chemical is found in paint thinner as well as butane which can be found in gas and benzene which can be found in gas and pesticides. These are the things that animals are ingesting. These cigarettes contain more than 165 chemicals. The majority of marine animals can misinterpret cigarettes for food which can advance to suffocation or the chemicals can be digested into the animal's digestive system. Filters for cigarettes can be eaten by fish which can reduce their stomach capacity so they cannot eat, therefore resulting in death. It can also advance to respiratory and nervous system problems and can interfere with their development. When small animals are contaminated and are eaten by a larger animal, it can cause a domino effect and will eventually affect the food chain. Cigarettes can be brought from cities and towns. When thrown on the ground, they go into rivers and runoffs and drains, as well as rain filters that cannot collect cigarettes. People not only throw their cigarettes on sidewalks in the cities, they also throw them on roads, which can result in more dangers like fire hazards and can also be washed into rivers by runoff. 12 to 27 million animals are affected by cigarette waste each year. An experiment manufactured by Eli Slaughter of the University of San Diego soaked a cigarette in one liter of water for 24 hours. After only 96 hours in the water, the chemicals that were in with the fish had killed 50% of them. What motivates people to not throw cigarettes in the garbage? Is it laziness, arrogance, or is it just that they don't know the consequences that one cigarette can do to the environment? People decide to put themselves before the environment and throw their cigarettes on the ground. They are too lazy to find a proper place to Some people don't understand how much damage just one cigarette can cause to the environment. A solution to minimize the effects of cigarettes on the environment is to recycle them. A company called TerraCycle makes metal bins to put used cigarettes and collect the bins to recycle the cigarettes. And for every pound of cigarettes recycled, they will donate one dollar to charity of your choice. Putting out TerraCycle bins in popular smoking locations could decrease the amount of cigarettes being thrown on the ground in that area. Each bin costs a hundred dollars and some good places to put them would be along the dike, by benches where people stop, outside bars, outside of gas stations and grocery stores, and popular spots along the river like bridges and the boat launch. So we know cigarette butts are harmful to the environment, but how do they really affect the animals and vegetation in our valley? First of all, the material the butts are made up of, which is called cellulose acetate, is biodegradable in direct sunlight. So a good thing, but actually it's pretty bad. The chemicals they're made of are toxic and leach into the soil and even the rivers. <laughs> in addition to that, the filter of the cigarette cannot decompose. One filter may seem small, however, think about your day-to-day -day life. Cigarette butts have been littered over Fernie for so long, it's become normal to us. These cigarette butts are not only covering our streets, they're also disrupting our forests and wildlife. Many plants have been found capable of soaking up chemicals, including nicotine, from the soil. 
Our wildlife is also highly affected by cigarettes. If ingested, cigarette butts can cause a variety of things, including vomiting, lack of coordination, weakness, respiratory failure, cancer, and even death. <laughs> Are those the only way it affects us? No, definitely not. There's also a big risk for wildfires, especially in the dry season when people leave their cigarette butts near the forest. Okay. Cigarette butts can lead to wildfires that destroy hundreds of hectares of wildlife and forests. Wow, I didn't realize cigarette butts affected more than just us. Maybe I'll try to recycle them. Thanks. That's a great idea. How should I safely recycle my cigarettes? I know. Go to TerraCycle.com. First, enter your name to make an account. Next, collect up to three pounds of cigarettes and put them in a bag. Make sure your cigarettes are properly extinguished before disposing them. Your third step is to print out your TerraCycle shipping label. Call FedEx for next day pickup. Three things you shouldn't do while disposing of cigarettes. Don't compost them. The toxins will ruin your soil and kill your plants. And don't throw your cigarettes on the ground because it's littering and it will pollute the earth. Lastly, don't throw your cigarettes in the sink. Congrats! You've learned how to safely dispose of cigarettes and by doing so, you'll help save the planet. This is the storm drain outflow that goes directly into our Elk River. As you can see, there's cigarettes and garbage in it. Filters are a system that allows you to block out some of the materials that you don't want to pass through things, in this case waterways. They prevent things such as cigarettes from entering our water, but lets less dense things such as liquid pass through. These can help maintain the overall quality of the water we consume or that ends up in the ocean. These are a highly researched idea and there are lots of concepts we that are implemented in culverts company, today. But we believe that using a round drain insert such as mesh material would be the best option for filtering out cigarettes on our water stream. The company that looks like the best choice for cost and also performance is Impact. The specific model we chose is the Impact Storm Sentinel Drain. Filters vary highly on what they are constructed of and what they are constructed of highly affects their lifespan and their effectivity. The impact filter is made of multiple different materials, such as synthetic fibers that form a mesh, trapping all objects such as cigarettes, but a lime system, but that is all we need to stop any harmful chemicals from cigarettes getting into our water. The impact drain filter is very inexpensive and is a great, efficient, and fast way to remove toxins from our water. They are very easy to install and have quite a long lifespan, which is good for a place like Fernie. We need these filters for some pretty simple reasons. The main one is water pollution in our rivers, which ends up in our oceans. By putting these filters in the culverts, we would be decreasing the number of cigarettes and other harmful toxins to our waterways, and also decreasing the number of harmful things that enter the ocean. Wildlife as well as humans are largely dependent on water. Our water needs to be clean and not harmful for it to be safe for animals, but also us to consume it. Without a proper filtration system, cigarettes could end up causing harm to the animals and lower our healthiness as well. Impact culvert filters are a very low cost solution for keeping our culverts clean compared to a lot of other companies. Each filter costs around $150 and we are thinking that we won't need too many. Where we intend to place these culvert filters is mainly downtown. The most highly cigarette affected area is downtown, therefore we want to place one filter on every storm drain there. The filters are placed underneath the metal cap on top and catch any cigarettes that make it through the metal grill. Cleaning the impact filter is also very simple and fast. You must simply take the mesh out and dispose of the cigarettes. Put back the insert and place the grill back on top. To on fill. April 12th and 13th, two of our outdoor ed classes made the decision to meet up with Ayla and Beth from Elk River Alliance to do a garbage cleanup. The areas we cleaned up were Maiden Lake, Coal Creek, and by the Fernie Boat Launch. The data we collected was astonishing. This included 238 plastic bags, 146 bottles, 127 beer and pop cans, and 867 cigarette butts. 
In total, we collected 1,923 pieces of waste in only a few hours. A huge amount of this garbage was found on the snow dumping grounds for the city, located by the boat launch. The culvert in which the snow melts and goes through leads directly into the Elk River, with zero filtration. This should be a wake-up call to the citizens of Fernie to address this important environmental issue. We would like to see filtration systems put in place in many locations, focusing on, on areas of high waste disposal, such as the boat launch area. Our impact on the Elk River is not only a local problem, but is also a problem for the flora and fauna of the river systems in BC and the Pacific Ocean. We have concerns about how the improper disposal of cigarettes are affecting Fernie. We hope that you can share the same concerns and that you can help us along the way to fixing this. And thank you for your time.